What's up guys, this is iTweets here, and today I'm going to be showing you a preview of a brand new lock screen tweet called Convergence. So to start out with, while we're on the lock screen, you can see that we have a complete blur over our background. So this is just that mountain background that you get with iOS 7, but it looks really nice with that nice blur. You'll also notice the notifications and how they're presented to you with Convergence. So if we tap on the tweet bot, you can see that it gives you that notification right there and you can tap on the emblem to put it back you can also tap on this and it's going to open up just like that so actually a really awesome way to display your notifications now you also notice these three knobs right here as well as this slider down here at the bottom of the middle so if we take this knob and we slide it to the left you actually don't even have to use the knob you can swipe from the left on any portion of the screen and it's going to reveal these toggles and you can actually add toggles to this screen from the settings and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute so just to start out with we have our airplane toggle Wi-Fi Bluetooth you know just the normal things right here and you also have your brightness slider that you can mess with right there so we can add some more toggles to this and I'll be doing that in just a minute so if we swipe back to the right and we swipe to the right one more time it's going to reveal the camera so you can see the camera in the base of my monitor right there is actually kind of dusty so disregard that but let's swipe back here and then let's swipe from the top now what you usually get, as you guys know, is the notification center. But are you going to get that with this tweak? No. You get an awesome widget. So you can see here that we have a calendar widget. And if you have events there, it's going to tell you what that event is and what time it starts. You also have a RSS feed widget right there, as well as a info stats widget that you actually have to install separately. And it's going to work just like this. It's going to show you. It's kind of hard to see on the video because it's white on white but it says free RAM you have used RAM you have total usable space as well as physical usable space and here is your your battery percentage also scrolling down right here this is a weather widget now keep in mind that all of this is in beta so this is not available in Cydia just yet so there's still some things being worked on as well as having a few bugs but you can see here that this is actually a weather widget and you can't see any of the information right here just because it's not really working too well but once it gets working the screenshots of what this looks like actually looks really nice so you can just slide that back up just like that and it has a nice little bouncing effect as you can see right there and you just scroll through it just like that so if we swipe up here you're obviously asking well how do we unlock the device all you have to do is swipe up and it's going to unlock the device just like that so it's actually pretty awesome so let's jump into the settings here and we can see everything that we can change so here's convergence and up here at the very top we have a kill switch so we can enable or disable convergence just with the toggle right there so there is no respring required if we go back to the lock screen you can see that we have that normal iOS 7 lock screen so let's go back into the settings we'll toggle that back on and then all of the options right here are going to reveal themselves so you have some theming options here as well you can change this from thin which is what I have right now to default and it's going to change that little slider right there so if we go back to the lock screen you can see down here at the bottom we have a more opaque slider right there rather than what we had before which is what's a hollow thin looking uh, slider as well as over here these are filled out rather than being just a line when we had the thin theme installed so let's swipe up here and we're going to go back to thin just because that's the way I like it. You can also have thin or thick font. So let's go back and I'll show you exactly what that does. It's basically just going to thicken up the clock right here. And you can see this maybe even, a, no, I think it's just this. It's actually uh, thicker right there. So let's go ahead and unlock the device and jump back into the settings here. So if we look at the interface right here, you can change the background. You have widgets, toggles, album artwork and battery percent so let's go ahead and start with the background you can actually change the amount of blur right here so like I was telling you before there was a lot of blur now let's go ahead and slide that down and let's see exactly what this looks like so you can see a little less blur right there and this actually looks a little bit better in my opinion just because you can actually make out kind of what's going on in the background rather than being a complete blur so let's go ahead and slide up here and we'll leave that right there as well as going down here to your widgets you can actually enable or disable these there aren't really many widgets that are working with convergence just yet just because this is still in beta but what you can do is actually edit these and you can rearrange them just like 
this, grabbing the grabber, as well as if you want to disable one, then you can just drag it down to disabled. Tap done, and then when we go back to our lock screen here, and we pull down the widgets, you can see that we don't have that fourth widget, which was the weather widget. All right, so going back, we have toggles. And for the toggles, I actually recommend you guys putting a toggle in there that's going to access the home screen. Because if you don't, it sometimes can get locked on the toggle screen and you can't get past it. You can't go back to the initial lock screen to unlock or anything like that. So basically you wanna have something like the calculator or just any app that you have right here. You could have the clock in your toggles or even the settings. If I could take that grabber, there you go. And let's take the settings up there as well and put that up there. So you can actually put as many of these uh, toggles right here that you want. So let's just put a few of them just to show you guys what it looks like with a bunch of toggles. And we'll tap done. And then we're going to go back to the lock screen here. And then swipe over. And that's what it looks like with multiple toggles. Now, like I was saying, you want something on here that is going to be able to open up an app in the phone. So it's going to unlock the device just because you can sometimes get stuck on this lock screen. You'll have to reboot your phone if you don't. So we'll just open up the settings here and go back into convergence. And down here is album artwork. So if we tap on that, you can either have full screen, medium, which is basically just like iOS 7 or mini. So let's go ahead and play some music. So we're just going to swipe up the control center and hit play. And let's turn that all the way down and go back to the lock screen. So this is what it's going to look like. It basically has a blur effect over the wallpaper in the background and it's a full screen. So you can kind of see where it says Eminem up there at the top right hand corner. But you can change this up to medium which is going to be pretty much just like iOS 7 where it's got it right in the middle it looks a little bit different but this is actually kinda cool as well as doing a mini which is something I've never seen before and you can see it's going to put it right up there at the top with a little bit of a fade to it so I mean it basically is just whatever you prefer whichever one you like to do I'm a fan of the full screen and I kinda like the mini I'm not sure why but I like both of those and if we go down here you can either display or not display the battery percent and that's been on there the entire time so if I turn it off you can see no more battery percent up here if you didn't notice it before I'll go ahead and turn it back on and you can see that battery percent right up there now if this battery percent is below 10 percent then it's going to be red but other than that that's what it looks like so actually a really awesome tweak if you need support you can contact the developer through Twitter mail or Cydia now not only is this the first iOS 7 lock screen tweak that I've seen that really changes up the way we use our lock screen but it's also one of the best tweaks that I've seen for iOS 7 as of yet now if you guys want to get this tweak you can do so by clicking the link in the description below and it's going to take you to a web page where you can follow the instructions there it does cost two dollars in order to get a preview of this tweak in beta stages and I'm really looking forward to the initial release so let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time, peace.